Hello everyone. Hi. My name is Ame Amadi. So I'm going to be listing out a couple of things that I think you should have handy mm -hmm. before you begin the process. A couple of things I would like you to have handy before you begin the process. Number one, you need to have a recent photo of your spouse and your child. Okay. Number two, you need to have your marriage certificate. Number three, you need to have your child's birth certificate. And number four, you need to have your international passport. That's the international passport of your spouse and your child. And it has to be valid for at least six months. Now in Japan, it's referred to as the passport, not international passport. Yes. Okay. And how recent should someone's photo be? Uh, it should be a photo that you've taken for at least six months. Okay. Yes. Um, the second thing you need to have is your statement of account. Okay. Now, the statement of account can either come from you or from your spouse. As a student, I think it's easier for the statement of account to come from you. Um, but in my own case, the statement of account came from my spouse okay. because I think he needed to come with my daughter. So we needed like about 500,000 yen in my account and I couldn't afford that. Okay. So we use the statement of account. So um, around that time, you had just moved here, right? Yes, okay. I just moved here. And he was still there with your daughter? Yes, he okay. was. And they had to join you here after Japan. how many months were you applying for? After visa? three months. After three months, yes. okay. So how much was needed for one person to join you? Okay, you need at least 200 to 250,000 yen in your account for one person to join you. Okay, so if it's two people, then it's about 500,000 yen. Okay, all right. Yeah. Next, you have to have the certificate of eligibility. Okay. Now, you have to fill the certificate of eligibility yourself and send it to the immigration here in Japan. At the immigration, you'll be told that the certificate of eligibility will come out between maybe three to four months, but most of the time, between one or two months, you get the certificate of eligibility. So when you get the COE, okay. which is the certificate of eligibility, okay. you need to send the original hard copy to your spouse, wherever they are. Why yes. not the soft copies, which are not original? Uh, I think or just the, a photocopy? Uh, no. We've been told that we need to send the original hard copy because I think the immigration in your whole country actually requires the original hard copy. Okay. Next, you need to have evidence of payment. Now, the evidence of payment has to come from your company if you're working, okay? okay? Or maybe from your school if you're a student, something stating that there's a source of monthly income that comes into your account, yes. If you are the one submitting your statement of account, you need to have an updated photocopy of your passbook okay. alongside the other documents. Okay, so in case your spouse is the one using your statement form, then that means you don't need a copy no, of your you passport. Okay. Lastly, you would need an employment letter from your company if you're working here in Japan. If you're a student, you need uh, the enrollment letter from your university. Okay. The enrollment letter is the same as the admission form. Depending on your university, different terminology is used. So do all to find out from your student support office. Do you have any advice for people who would like to come to Japan inviting their spouse or their child? Anything they should keep in mind during the process? Okay, number one, the first thing I would say is ask as many questions as you can. Okay. And you have or you need to ask the right people. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need to ask the right people. So there's so much information out there, but you need the right information. Then secondly, do not be in a hurry. Yes, do not be in a hurry because a couple of people have been denied mm -hmm. this opportunity. So you need to take your time to make sure you have all your documents ready and up to date as well. Okay. Yes, and with asking the right people, one thing you can do is that you could ask a number of people and just compare what you are hearing, okay? If you are hearing the same thing across board, you know that that is the right thing for you to do. However, if you are hearing a lot of different things, try and do a sampling and then consult your student support office. They would always be ready to help you. Okay, so that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, 
do want to leave them in the comment section and put on your notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos. Bye! Bye.